Speaking of Cammy Island manager Danny Hill after uh, tonight's pre-season victory over Gillingham. Danny, what do you make of the performance as a whole? Yeah, no, I, th I thought we played really well tonight, so we changed our formation. Um, so I was a bit disappointed Tuesday night with the way we played. Um, so I, I needed a reaction and I, I know it's pre-season that but you've got to get in good habits but now from the first whistle I thought we pressed them when we had to press them and we dropped off and got our shape right because they had a lot more possession than us early on but I thought, I thought we looked dangerous so I thought we defended really well, kept a clean sheet looked quite dangerous at times and uh, I thought that we just kept the ball really well and uh, especially in tight areas and that and then when we had to go long we went long and pushed up and uh, I was more than happy with it as you said, it is only pre-season, but what does it mean to get off the mark and get a victory? Oh, without a doubt, obviously, you want, you want clean sheets. The more clean sheets you get, and the better you're going to do. And um, I say, we've, got, we've, had, we've been changing our 11s at half-time uh, all the way through so far. We, we kept the majority on today for 90 minutes. Uh, obviously, we've got two games in, in 48 hours, which is um, not, not ideal. Uh, we're struggling with bodies at the moment. We've let a few go in the week, but... Uh, Obviously, Conkle were meant to play Friday night, but for some reason their game's been called off. Uh, but we'll, we'll go there tomorrow. We, we, we've got some young kids here from South End, and uh, we believe in. And I'm telling you now, they're very good players. And uh, if we can mix that in with some experienced players we've got here, we'll be fine. So, um, as the as squad coming together as a whole, do you think is it looking close to like? Being yeah, ready yeah, yeah, we're, yeah. We're nearly there. So uh, we've just got a couple of um, deals to finalise with with a couple of boys that will be tied up after the weekend. And um, I say, we, 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 obviously, with the budget we've got at the moment, um, so we're a little bit less than we had last year. But say, there's a lot of other clubs in a worse state than us, and uh, that's no excuse. Uh, Yeah, massively. So obviously, you get injuries in football, and uh, you do have to have a bit of change in that. And if people are not putting their weight or their attitudes are not right, then they have to move on. But like I said on, on numerous occasions, uh, I believe that it starts in the change room. If you've got a good change room and you've got good people around you, uh, then you're halfway there. And, and that's what we try and do. And so obviously, last year when I took over, we, we only had four players when we started pre-season, so it was a massive turnaround. And we did go through quite a few players last season, but we've managed to keep the ones we wanted to keep. Added uh, three or four fresh faces. A few of the reserve team players have broke through into, into the squad, and uh, a few trialists we had on here last year, just towards the end of the season, like your Charlie Barlow, your Dan Kings, and, and that. And, uh, and, and they've come through, and they're doing really well. For Charlie Barlow, first half tonight was superb. And uh, like I said earlier, it, it bodes well for the football club, and, uh, and, I, and I think we'll be fine. Mentioned about um, the stability. There is one player though that was first team regular season. Sheldon Sellers was. Um, where, where has he gone this season? Yeah, Sheldon. Um, we got a phone call um, from Newport, which is from Justin Edinburgh, to ask for Sheldon to go down on a week's trial. Um, obviously, we agreed to that. Obviously, we said when we signed Sheldon that if any like pro club come in, that we'd let him talk to him. Uh, he did sign his option on his contract, so at the moment he's been having a few games with Bishop Stalford and uh, we're just waiting for Bishop Stalford to get back to us and uh, see what's going to happen so far or what's, what's the next step with it all and that. But I know Bishop Stalford um, released a couple of weeks ago that they'd signed Sheldon, but they, they haven't because we haven't released him. So, but so, there's, there's no hard feelings there and that. If Sheldon lives in Bishop Stalford, and uh, obviously we, we've invested in him and. Uh, um, he signed a contract and we've honoured that, so things need to be sorted out between Bishop and Stalwart. But there's no hard feelings there and, and uh, it'll all be sorted out over the next week, I'll go. Fantastic, thank you, Dan. Thanks, mate. Cheers, mate. Cheers, Wonderful. Mate. Cheers, mate.